Good morning, or oh, depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross from PTCG Radio, and I'm back with another deck I'm playing, another game I'm playing with my Weavile deck. Now, I've already posted a deck breakdown of this deck, taking you through it card by card, and I've already put a video up showing my first two games with this deck. So, hopefully, um, that's given you a bit about it. I'm going to show you now a game I played with Weavile against an Evil Towel list. So, not a bad start. Now I've got my Beneri to go first, and I've got a Sneasel turn one, which is always a bonus. And it's quite nice to start Beneri because you can just evolve into Lopini and big jump back into your hand the next turn. So it's kind of like having a free retreater. And of course, I'm going second, because why wouldn't I be going second? And you can see there my opponent's playing an Evil Tower list, and he gets the Verbank City Gym, and he gets a Hypnotoxic Laser, because as previously discussed, I am not able to play against a Darkrai or Evil Tower list that doesn't get the turn one laser. But I'm not... Actually, I am worried at this point. That's a complete lie. At this stage, I am worried. Because what's going to happen here, unfortunately, is my Beneri is going to die from poison at the end of his turn at the end of my turn now which means he's getting a free prize for doing absolutely nothing now i draw a second baneri and i draw a second sneasel that's really nice the question is whether i juniper away a sneasel or use jirachi i don't want to use jirachi i really don't because i don't want it sitting on my bench because evil tail decks play lasand and catcher and i can always super on it back in and use it later um, so it dies from poison, and I've got to put something else up. There's no switch in this deck because you've got Lopini's big jump, but him getting the turn one laser Verbank means that it is going to die at the end of his turn, and unless I draw my single scoop up Cyclone, which I didn't, there's no other way to retreat. So he is going to get an energy there, well, two energy from Professor's Letter, and... He gets a second energy on the Evil Town, meaning he's hitting for 60. And this is the good thing that Evil Town decks try and do, and also the worrying thing for setup decks like this. I know, and you've seen in my previous video as well as the deck breakdown, when a Weavar deck gets rolling nicely, um, he's able to take a lot of prizes very quickly. But the first few turns aren't half hairy. Now, I don't agree with what he did there at all. Um, because he didn't take a prize, and he wanted to take a prize there. But also, by killing the Bunnery, I can't evolve it into Lopini and use it to try and get six Pokemon in hand to knock out his Evil Tal. As it is, I've now got Lopini to use to try and knock out Evil Tal in the future, and he hasn't taken a prize. He's effectively given me an extra turn. So, next turn... Um... So yeah, next turn I'm going to be able to just, um, you know, big jump in, and it's it's going to be easy for me to get the KO. So I I think he made a mistake there by not killing the Bunnery. I've bought a turn, and I'm going to lose that Sneasel. But like you see here, I'm going to get a second Sneasel down, and I'm going to evolve up to Weavile, and then so yeah, okay, he's he's going to get the KO. But now next turn, and he's used a Lasan, so I doubt he'll be using another one next turn. So, unless he hits a catcher or a Lasson, not only have I got a Weavile attacking next turn, but I've got a Lopini on the bench, and there is a catcher. But luckily he hits Tails, otherwise that would have been really annoying. Although, to be fair, I could have tried to Dark Patch and Attach, because I could have Big Jump Lopini back to get him active. It's not the end of the world, because obviously I can leave um, Sneasel slash Weavile on the bench to Dark Patch and then Big Jump back. And... But, you know, so as it is at the moment, because he hit him for 60 rather than killing him, next turn I've got a Weavile. I've definitely got three Pokemon in hand with my executing the disc on the Lopini. The chances are I'm going to get six Pokemon off that Juniper. What that means is that I'm going to get the KO, even up the prizes, and I'm in a better position. Now, you see there, I am going to be all right here because I've got Pokemon in hand and I've got an, uh, an Ultra Ball and a Level Ball here. So, um, so you'll notice, unfortunately, a minute ago, he did play Asylum, which shows this isn't the best Evil Tower list ever. But it does show nicely how the matchup can go, which is why I'm showing it to you guys. So I'm going to level ball for an Execute, and unlike in my previous game, I'm going to remember that Propagation exists, and I'm going to propagate the second 
execute back. And what this basically allows me to do is ultra ball for no cost. I can ultra ball those two execute. I've got two in the discard pile now, and I'm getting another Pokemon. And what I'm actually going to do here is get a third execute. Because then, of course, I can propagate uh, the two in the discard pile, and I can then big jump with Lopany, which not only brings Lopany back into my hand, but it gets Weavile active. And then I'll have to kill that Weavile, but I'm getting the KO here. I've got a second Weavile already set up, so it's already on the bench. It's not the end of the world. As a very quick side note, the reason a minute ago I um, put the Lopany active at the beginning of my turn was because I knew I was going to big jump it. That meant I could draw a Dark Patch or an energy to be attacking, whereas if I put the Weavile active, I have to draw an energy. So you see that I get the KO. We're now even on prizes, and I like my board more than his. He's going to have to get a second Evil Tally X out to get the KO. And even if he does, I've got free Execute in the discard pile. I'm There's a decent chance we're going to have Lopany out next turn. And I've got a Dark Patch and an Energy, so I'm going to get that Weavile out. Now, I do need a Lopany next turn, so there is a chance I'm not going to draw that. But as it goes at the moment... He doesn't look like he's going to be getting the KO. So without him getting the KO, it's looking fairly nice for me. And you'll see here he's kind of gone away. It doesn't look like he's coming back, to be honest. He doesn't seem to want to be putting a Pokemon forward. And he's gone inactive. So essentially, he's realised. And what this really shows is how the Evil Tile Weavile match goes. I know it wasn't the best match you've ever seen, but essentially they get the early pressure... But if you can get your Lopanese and Executes working and streams uh, Weaviles, it really doesn't matter what your opponent does, you're going to win the game. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video as with the others. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like it, check out my podcast and all of that good stuff. Tell your friends, get them watching my video too. I need approval, ladies and gentlemen. But as always, thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.